So my pirate lab uh, has a group within it, the R, the Aerial and Aquatic Robotic Research Group. And we've been messing with a whole variety of platforms over the last uh, almost two years now um, to figure out which platforms are, are most optimal for our coastal monitoring. And uh, we've, we've developed some proficiency now. This is our uh, open ROV. This is one of our workhorse models that we've settled upon and, and really seems to be the most powerful, useful, configurable platform for us. This is a 2.7. This guy's configured for when we do our um, marine protected area surveys and, and counting of fish in different areas. So it has a tether, it has a, 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 a tool to track how much line is played out, etc. So this is our open ROV. This is again our, our workhorse. But we have a whole variety of other platforms too. This is a mate design. This is a more simple design that's cheaper and is, uh, is great to use with um, school groups, elementary school groups that we work with and teach them the fundamentals of robotics and, and construction and stuff. We have other um, uh, body types that we're messing with configuring. We've taken, for example, some of the open ROV and, and added our own um, uh, tweaks to it, stuff like that. And then we have, and there's also, of course, other models. You can use the more traditional types of remotely operated vehicles that uh, cost a whole lot more are generally are much less configurable. Um, the main advantage these units have is they have a bit uh, greater depth range, possibly. Um, but all these units, all these things together are tools. They're tools for us to understand the coastal environment. They might be tools that we drive with a computer over here, or they might be tools that uh, pilot themselves or what have you. But all of them are built around the idea of using cheap, affordable, small robotic instruments to get a better handle on what's going on with our coastal environment. So this guy, hopefully in the next uh, day or two or a couple, will be out um, checking subsurface oil, oiling on the Gaviota coast. And uh, yeah, it's great.